A recent VCU basketball game is gaining attention on social media and not because of the action on the court. A college sports commentator from Rhode Island is calling out VCU athletics for not accommodating people with disabilities at a recent game. 8 News reporter Nicole Dantzler is live with his experience and how VCU is now responding. Nicole. Deanna Shane Donaldson says that he couldn't access the media booth at Tuesday's men's basketball game. It caused him to miss out on a radio broadcast, and now VCU is apologizing for that mishap. This tweet from a visiting sports commentator calling out VCU's lack of accessibility to its broadcast area at the Siegel Center. Shane Donaldson, who has cerebral palsy and is the associate sports director and media relations director for the University of Rhode Island. He attended Tuesday night's men's basketball game at VCU with the hope of being the analyst for the radio broadcast. I have balance issues and muscle strength issues. He posted this picture of the broadcast area. It sits on a platform in the stands with the ladder on the other side of a fence. VCU recently moved their media booth up to the second floor to make room for floor seating, but Donaldson says he felt defeated. Your heart sinks immediately because, you know, it's embarrassing. You know, I, I'm uh, talking to the play-by-play -play guy and I, I said, listen, like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I think you're going to have to go solo. VCU Athletics released a statement Wednesday saying access and inclusion are central to our values and we fell short last night. Donaldson says not only was this a barrier for people with disabilities, but it was a safety issue, too. I've been dealing with my, you know, disability my entire life. Um, as an adult, this is one of the first times that I have ever been made to feel subhuman. I've reached out to VCU Athletics to ask if they were following ADA procedures and if they informed media personnel ahead of time of the layout, but they declined our request for an interview. Live in Richmond, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.